So to look a little bit more at understanding APR, the interest rates, and how that impacts the actual cost of the car over time, we're going to look at this brand new Jeep Latitude that um, costs $25,495 at the market price, the MSRP. Um, now, when you go onto car dealership websites, it's going to be really common for you to see um, different financing options. And on this website that I found, there were two that we're going to sort of analyze because a big part of loans and car loans is understanding your options, which ones are good for you, which ones maybe aren't good for you, and sort of just sorting through the different options. So for this Jeep, the, the website, our, the dealership already had two different ways for you to finance that car. And when we say finance the car, guys, that just means to pay for it over time instead of all at once. So um, I'm gonna, we're gonna talk about these two smaller boxes here. So the first option that this Jeep dealership has is finance for 0% APR, which is nuts. That means they are going to charge you zero interest fees for 36 months, plus up to a $1,500 cash allowance. Now it says up to $1,500 because it depends on your credit score. If you have a really good credit score, they're going to give you that cash allowance full of $1,500. And remember, guys, a cash allowance means they're going to discount your car that much. So instead of owing the instead of paying twenty five thousand four hundred ninety five, if you get the full cash allowance, we can go ahead and just subtract one thousand five hundred off of that price, and that's how much you're going to pay for the car. And this one has zero percent APR, no interest. So the pros of this one are there is no interest fees. You're literally going to take the price of that car and pay it over three years, thirty six months. The, the con of this, which you're going to see throughout this activity and unit, is that if you have a shorter loan term, like you get 36 months here to pay for it, where when we get to this example, you have 84 months, which is almost like six or seven years. That's a lot of time. I'm actually going to get that exact number for us. And that's seven years versus this one wants you to pay it in three years. If you, if a, if a loan is a smaller loan term, you are going to have higher monthly payments because you're paying it off quicker. So you might not be able to afford those higher payments. If you can, you want to choose this option because you're not getting charged any interest fees. So your car will be cheaper with this option, but only if you can afford that higher monthly payment. And you might not be able to. I know I was not when I bought my Subaru. I couldn't afford the, the monthly payment for 36 months. But we'll get more into that in the details of next week. Now for this one, where you're financing for 1.9% APR, that is a really, really good interest rate, first of all. But it is obviously bigger than 0%. And you have way longer to pay it off, plus up to a $500 cash allowance. So a much smaller discount is being offered compared to the other option. So a longer loan term means you will have a lower monthly payment, but you will be charged interest fees. So you will pay more for the car over time than the 0% APR option. And for the rest of this lesson, guys, we are going to go through and take a look at how much these options actually cost you so we can have a better comparison.